Hard clue from a clue nest. I forgot that you could get clues from these. Hard casket. Ooh, rune play body gilded and a master clue. Well, you probably weren't expecting this, but I wanted to do something before we did the master clue. I'm gonna play this maybe? Background music? There we go. I have unlocked a new music track. And that is because, well, we don't have the scrubs foot descent, but I don't think you need the holiday items. So that should be the music cape achieved. Let's go see if I'm right. All right, Olaf the Bard, let me talk to you. About the music cape. I believe you are the person if I want. That's right, it'll cost you 99k. I'll easily pay that. There we go, the music cape achieved. That looks so nice. Trim? Oh, you have to have the holiday items as well, but I believe we also unlock, we do and we unlock the emote, the air guitar. That is so cool. But as you know, this cape will be super helpful because it teleports you directly to Olaf or Clues or Fallow. Sorry, not Olaf, but Fallow. Oh my God, this was the easiest master clue I've ever done. I'm not even kidding. It was, it was, it was Sherlock. And then it was three Fallows. Sherlock again, as you can see, Back to Fallow for the last time, and we got the casket. I, yeah, look, I even wrote it. Sherlock, Fallow, Fallow, three Fallows, and then back to Sherlock and one more Fallow. Like I said, we got the master casket, boys. Let's start with the beginner, though. That was super bad. Master? Ah, uh, I deserve that. All right, here we are, the last herbivore for level 94. Kick the little tunnel. And I did mention it last time, but 93 was a big level because we can now bare hand catch dragon implings. And lastly, we have one large fossil in our inventory, which makes 14 now in the bank. Also 55 smalls, 17 mediums, and we got two more rares, even though those aren't really important. The unidentified small fossils, I'm probably not going to identify all because I don't think we'll need many more. And if you identify them, then you can't use them for the prayer XP in the mycelium pool. Well, I got the five small ones for the last small case that we have. I did realize though that mediums are probably going to be the ones that I will need much more of. I went down there and looked at the last room and there's most of it are medium cases. So hopefully we have enough larges to fill out the large ones as well. All right, we have all of them broken down that I'm going to. I still have 50 small ones in the bank. So let's grab these five and see if we can finish all of the smalls. I did finish one small, a few mediums, and some of the larges. Now we're up to 218 kudos. Wow, okay. So we're almost done with that one. We do need a large pelvis though, it looks like. The small one we're not quite done with, so we'll make a couple more of that. It looks like it needs two more. And then the medium we also need to finish. So we are really close to finishing this. So we just need a few more. But as we know, the best part is going to be the free rune crafting XP that we get. Let's start with the smalls. Ooh, that looked like that was a medium actually. Yeah, that was a medium. So there's the four mediums, two smalls, and I think this is two larges. Yeah, 5,000 ones. So we just got a free 26K runecrafting XP. That's insane. Used a couple more than I really wanted to, but I had to. But now I can officially say we have completed all the smalls and we can get an extra 2K runecrafting XP, making it 28K. I didn't say I was going to continue doing this, but now that I had gotten 94, 
Hunter, I'm going to finally finish these. There's 97 fletching, and I'm under 100k left to finish them off. 2405, and we get 95 Hunter, and it shows in the clan. Pretty sure we've had one of those already, but there's the clan pogging off. All right, we got the pelvis, and we finished all of the mediums now. 224 we're almost done and of course free runecrafting XP or a total of 8500 definitely take that hi everyone today is the 4th of July actually and I've been runecrafting just a little bit 320k from the next level but I wanted to say that today I'm actually going on vacation for about a week so I will only be runecrafting more than likely, so then I'll catch you back when I get back. Just finished up 2480 herbivore harvest, and we're closing in on the next level finally. And in three more here, we will have 98 fletching. One more to go. Had to get that out before vacation. I do think I am going to sell my amethyst arrows from here and keep the rest for future PVM things. I just want to have some. Um, I'm not sure though because we will be killing a lot of Vorkath and doing Gauntlet at some point. So we may end up selling the rest but for now we'll just keep, them, keep some just in case. So the total profit finally after mining all this amethyst forever ago is about 30.5 mil which is really nice. And we finally got the levels XP out of it. Feels good. For the longest time I haven't had this done and I only noticed it because I got air guitar. I think I spelled it wrong. Hold on. Nope, we did it right. Boom. But I noticed this too that I'm going to go get and then we only have the two clue um, required emotes left to complete all of the emotes. To get this emote you have to have a relic tier 3 outfit in your house. Unfortunately I'm going to spend the 10,000 points to get this one because this one's 15,000 and I can't be asked. This one is more expensive and I think looks better anyways. Well, you have to build the outfit stand that I didn't have. So I'm just going to build the regular one. We're going to use this on here. Ooh, that looks pretty nice, actually. Let's get out of building mode. And then there we go. We got the relic unlock right here. I don't know what it does. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, I'm glad we got that, actually. Well, it didn't have any sound to it, but as you saw, we just finished our first infernal pickaxe. And yes, I've been out here mining. It says you can recharge it with another one. Well, that's why I brought this one out here. So let's use it on there. Allow it to be consumed. And we get an XP drop for that, which is not too bad. And now we have another 100% infernal axe. Finally at the hundredth kill of Callisto. Take it. There's a guy that teleported in. There's the end of the task. And I'm pretty sure he's a scout. So we, and he is.
liked his friend! <laughs>Here we go again. Cristelia, what's next? Back to Scorpia. And we are officially now ranked at Scorpia. 50kc. Take that shark. Always love to see Larensky. This is why you do Barrage, because I just got a Larensky from a regular little Scorpion. And we get a hard clue, very nice. The little healers on this boss is the worst, but we finally will finish the task with actually killing Scorpia. And do we get anything lucky? We do not. 79 KC now. Let's go get the next task. Next task first, and we will do these clues. Hill Giants. We'll take it because I want those keys for Obor. And that's super fast task. Second time at Monus, and we get the casket. Let's start with the beginner. We need to turn this off, sorry. Oh, that's a bad beginner. Hard, though. Hey, a new, unique Zamrock plate skirt. We'll take it. Not a very good GP clue, though. Oh, we take those along, Bones Boy. Task over. Next one. Did get two keys. What's next? Crystalia Rogues. I think that's a skipper. And barely know her. There's the cancel on that one. Bears. Yes. Callisto. Hi, everyone. It's been no time for you, but it's been about a week for me. I did get one room crafting level. We are now 94, and I have been working on fletching behind that. Um, as you can see, I'm only 370k away from 99. I did the magic longbows I had in my bank of the magic logs and just the mithril ore in my bank as well. And what I'm just gonna do is sell this off and I'm going to just string magic longbows until the rest of the level. Just go ahead and buy it off. Why not get another 99? I was watching the Conor McGregor fight where he broke his leg while recording this, so I had to voice over. But here is 99 fletching, another 99 in the bag. Let's go grab our cape as well from Mr. Hickton. Can you tell me about your cape? Oh, it's in the store. Buy one fletching cape. This is the first time I've ever gotten 99 fletching too, even though it's such a boring one, but uh, let's do the emote. Very cool. Number 12. Now that I am back from vacation though, it is time to finish the herbivore grind, which will not finish the hunter grind. I will finish this level though, get to 96, and then we should have max kudos. And here is 96 hunter. Um, we did get eight total large fossils. Um, hopefully that is enough to finish kudos. If not, ugh, I guess we're coming back for even more. 222 total level 2710 herbivores. All right, out of 11 fossils, we have seven plant ones and we had these four non-plant ones in the little fossil storage. So let's see if we can complete this. There is one plant one finished though. And surely the second. Yes. So we literally need to finish the big boy and I don't have a pelvis. So I have to go do something. I think I'm going to just go woodcut the little mushrooms though. I don't know. I'll probably do herbivores. I will. I just don't want to go back, but juicy rune crafting XP it is. And then we'll finally get max kudos. Alright, I didn't want to have to show you all the built up process again, but number two, large fossil after 96 hunter, we get the pelvis. And I do believe that should be max kudos, finally. It did take about 250k into the level to get it, so let's finally go and finish. Withdraw all the large fossils I already have, of course. When I first saw this, I never thought that I would ever finish this thing, but funny enough, we should finish all of it here. 
230 museum kudos. We have the max that we can get. I'm finally glad this was over because now I can finally move on to the different hunter training method that we're going to do to get level 99. As well as I get to uh, show you all the juicy herb lore XP that we're going to get from all the herbivores and all the farm runs I did while doing the herbivores. And on top of that we have a huge kingdom of miscellanea to go gather as well. I'm excited. I'm not going to get into the herb lore until next episode though simply because this has been pretty long and I want this episode to be focused on the hunter grind and getting max kudos but to end it hopefully we can get something good from these three clue skulls I have um, just from doing various skilling things like birdhouses or mining stars all right no matter what we get you still have to like subscribe or follow beginner easy hey a steel plate skirt trimmed always love unique and medium. Ah, never lucky on the ranger boots. Over vacation, I figured out of an actual better uh, blood runecraft training method. Um, and it was actually from a clan mate of mine. But if you have all of the diaries done, after you venerate all of your dark essence, you can teleport um, to the Chaos Fanatic, which is the Edgeville achievement diary master and from there you can run up um, over the ditch and go into the blood altar through the abyss it is supposed to be faster xp an hour as i mentioned um, i'm 40k until 8 mil room crafting so i'll just do that 40k and see how much better it is i average about 30 to 35k an hour normally but we'll see how much we get with the achievement diary cape method I guess you do run the danger of being PK'd, so obviously remember that, but since it's so fast into the abyss, I'm not super worried about it. Now that you have all your essence in mind, venerate all of them. And instead of running around the normal way, you teleport with E on the achievement diary, which is the lesser fanatic. And as you know, if you've been crafted back in the day, you've ran across this before. Run to the Zamorak wizard over here. Teleport with him. And you do want to run to the west side of the abyss where the blood r rift is. And the first time you go through it, you have to use a dark essence block on it, but it doesn't use the essence block. And you just chip away like normal. But that run is seemingly faster than the run all the way around from where you venerate the essence. Alright, in the final run that we're going to be doing, let me uh, chop these boys up. I always do that. Alright, let's see what we get. 42k an hour just above. So it looks like it's about, you know, 5 to 7k more an hour. But you do have to have the Achievement Cape Diary, so pretty niche, but I thought that you might enjoy that. <laughs>